So here we have the all powers. I don't know which model it is. I'll be in the title. So you get with it, you get the, the unit, obviously. Switch it on like that, press and hold. It's on 34% after the weekend. I've been using it a lot. You get the uh, the car charger, 12 volt. The solar panel connector. I'm going to be using the solar panel for this. Alright, so this is the solar panel connector. This goes in the side of the unit. Let's bring it around. You've got the. This is all the uh, power inputs here. So you press that. Tells you where which one it is. So that's only one way it can go in. This is your um, yeah AC overload protector button there, and that's the AC charge. So yeah. The, uh, well, the, the car charger goes in that as well. The 12 volt goes in the same as the solar panel. Right, so what we'll do is, we shall get the solar panel. Watch this. This might put some people off, but it's not put me off. Here it is. The all the powers solar panel 37.4 volts, 400 watts. So got the peak power is 400 plus or minus 5. See, so open circuit voltage 45.3 volts, short circuit current is 11.5 amps, maximum power voltage 37.4 amps. Uh, volt, sorry, maximum power current 10.6 amps. So that's not bad. If you know what that means, amps and volts, you'll know what that's all about. So, how do you place it under strong sunlight? And then, plug it in basically, right? What we'll do is, we'll just move this back. We'll, we'll, put, the, we'll put the panel behind the cable. This is all new, I don't know if you opened this yet. But we'll move it over here. And we'll, uh, we'll get it set up. Just make sure I can get it all in. Because it is rather large. This must be where it plugs into. So you've got to just plug it inside. One plugs into one, plugs into the other. You get a spare, spare lead. There you go, a few spare leads. And for some reason, you get loads of carabiners. <laughs> I don't know what they're about. Let's get this panel out. I'll tell you what, I'll unplug it before I get it out. So when you press it, that's right, it just, just pulls apart. There's two little push-in clips there. Right, I'll get this out. It's got... It pulls it together. Is rather large. I don't know how the yeah, it's upside down. So it comes this way up. Still on force. All 
and forth. And there's on the back of the legs. Pull the legs out. You might need two people for this. Once the legs are out, it's all right. That is uh, quite a unit. Right. So the lead. <clears throat> so I'll bring, I'll move this over by the lead. Look at the size of it. That's a solar panel and a half in it. <laughs> the only problem is everything's really heavy. Right, so here we go. I'm gonna take the camera off for this because look at the power going into that now. Full on sun. I don't know if you can make it out. Input 190 watts. 192. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave it out and come back and let it charge up for about, I don't know, give it half an hour, yeah? Give it half an hour, it's about times it now. Ten past five. We'll come back about half five and see how it's getting on. 34% at 5.30. 190 input. That's one heck of a thing. I'm thinking, if you're in a van, you could put that on the roof. Just spread it out on the roof. This is the legs. Just stand up on the legs. Like I say, it'd be a lot easier with two people. But you know, I did it. Ninety watts. Right, 211 watts. It's gone up 1% already. So here we are, half an hour later, and it's on 40%, 34 to 40 in 30 minutes, 6%. Now, the sun did go in for a little bit, so that didn't help. But yeah, it's still got 120 foot. I'm standing in front of the panel here, like, so I'm blocking the, the light, so that's why it's going down. So the features are, we've got two USB-C ports there. You've got one, two, three, four. You've got two 12 watts, two 18 watts for your fast charge. And we've got rubber, rubber covers on. Like splash proof, rain proof, I would say. Your DC output there, your 12 volt, your 10 amp. Anything with a DC plug on it, including your... 12 volt for the, the fridge, you know, your cigarette lighter plug. 10 amp, 3 pin, 4 of. Yeah. So you've got plenty of plugs. You take your 4, you could plug in 4 USBs, 2 C type, you know, the little mini ones, 4 blooming 3 pin plugs. I powered the fridge. Um, in my van, I got on three trips at 100%, three trips, power in the fridge, all in off, wasn't on constant, and it was 34%, that was that was the 34% there when I brought it in. So, a lot of power in the side here. Uh, you've got your battery expansion. So, what can you see? A bit of camera angle here, like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can plug other units into it, and you can expand the battery. The fans are quite silent, so I'm charging up now. So, so 
curry handles here and it's a nice handle there with a rubber grip that's for your port obviously that is just the information on the back scanner barcode so there you go all powers what a thing here we are that's for the solar panel APSP 037 the model will be in the tile. Portable power station, I mean, it really is. It's brilliant in the van. I'm using it the last three weekends, I think I say. And this panel. Didn't use the panel. Because there was no sun. Well, you do need the sun. Unfortunately, this country doesn't have a lot of sun. Hopefully, it will. So that's it. There you go. Keep that charging for a while. Leave it out while the sun's out. Free power in it. When the sun goes in, if it's not full, I'll plug it into the mains. And I took first time I charged it. Took about um, maybe an hour from about 20% up to 100. If you want to turn it off, you just press long hold. I'm sure it'll keep charging up if you turn it off. These are your on off switches for your, uh, for your sockets. On, off, on, off. All the rest of it. Links in the description for that. I'll tell you what it is. That's a monster of a thing. 2500 watt maximum output. So you're going to be able to power hair dryers, air fryers, kettles. Probably will have an overload on it, but you know. So is your house. You've got to be reasonable with it. But ladies, your hair, hair curling tongs, hair dryer. <laughs> Men, your shavers, your razors. Check it out.